so uh, welcome friends again uh, to this video uh, this will be the video 3 of my series and in the last two videos uh, i have uh, explained that how you can uh, um, do the programming with arduino uno boards and uh, how you can uh, control the leds so in this video i am going to explain how you can use the um, serial monitor in the uh, how you can use the serial monitor in the arduino board to display any of your messages or uh, anything you want so what i am going to do i am just uh, try uh, i'll be doing that with arduino you know so that will probably be the last video on arduino you know then i'll tell how i can write um, do the programming in esp32 and after that uh, i'll do some iot projects uh, based on esp32 or esp826 basically programming for both the same so then now let us go to this Arduino Uno. So here again your Arduino Uno is open. Uh, in this video I will be just teaching that uh, how you can just use the uh, serial monitor here. Okay. And also serial plotter. So serial monitor to use that. So uh, as you have uh, seen in the previous videos to tell the Arduino that which pin is acting as uh, input or output we need to give, uh, give that code as pin mode. So here also to start the serial monitor or to start displaying, we need to start the display also, uh, display monitor also. So for that, what do we need to do? So here, there we declare pin mode and here we have to start the serial monitor. So for that, what do we need to do? We need to do the uh, function as serial, sorry. So serial dot begin okay serial dot begin 9600 remember 9600 is important uh, why because this is a baud rate of the Arduino you know board and this speed it uh, communicates with the system so that's why you have to write serial dot begin 9600 now the in void setup we have kept means uh, we have started the serial communication uh, with to uh, whatever you want to plot in the uh, or display in the serial monitor and in the void loop so we'll just write that uh, code what we need to display here okay then uh, how to display so we need to for that serial dot print okay serial dot print is the uh, code or is the syntax to print anything and uh, in the bracket we will write our message so if you are just writing a string as a message then you have to write in the double quote and here you write hello from Arduino. oh no okay so now the program i have written so it is in hello Arduino you know, in the uh, same monitor okay so it's not actually program right but let us run that and see what is happening and then you modify the code so once simulation is started uh, okay so it is uh, the semicolon is missed here so uh, once again let's run this so see it is printing uh, you can see it is printing hello i didn't know and it is very difficult to know that what it is printing it's printing randomly in the middle actually it's not random it's just printing hello i didn't know hello from i didn't know uh in a random not in a random manner it is just printing one by one one by one in a very fast manner it is printing why because it is in a void loop okay as it is in a void loop the same line is being executed again and again in a loop for infinite number of time and here you see the print uh, syntax is given so it is printing in one line so hello at no no hello at no. so like this is printing so for that we need to print in, in a separate uh, uh, sentence okay separate line so for that what we need to do is need to change one thing here print ln okay so this print ln syntax is used to print a line in a new line print a sentence or print a message in a new line in Arduino. Okay, so every time the uh, code is executed, it will, it will just print in a new line. Okay, now the problem is that it is printing so fast, I cannot see that. So, for that, what you can do? Uh, so, for that, uh, we can just uh, give a delay here. If you remember in the LED control, we have used this function. So, I'll give a delay, let's say 1000, so that is 1000 millisecond, and it means in every one second it will print this message okay so for that now uh, let's run this simulation again and here you see it is printing 
the message that I have written here, I will fill it up once again, and every time it is printing in the new window. Okay. So uh, in the next video, I will tell that how can print any value or any um, data or anything else. Okay. So see the next video to know that, that how you can print a variable there. If you have a sensor or any other device that is giving you input, then how can you print that? We will be learning that in the next video. So please see the next video on the KBGT.